High-risk pregnancy care differs from typical pregnancy care in that we're often dealing with women who have chronic medical conditions coming into their pregnancy or there have been pregnancy complications recognized as the pregnancy goes forward or there are concerns with the baby that they're carrying. In addition to women having um, ongoing chronic medical health issues before they come into a pregnancy or concerns with the pregnancy itself, Often women come into a high-risk um, individual if they're older, maternal age, 35 or older, if they've had um, their pregnancy conceived through IVF in combination with older maternal age. Those would also be conditions where they might seek high-risk um, obstetric care for their pregnancy. We would like to see women who have pre-existing medical conditions before they actually um, consider a pregnancy and are actually pregnant. And certainly there are many medical conditions that if they come in for a preconception consultation, there are alterations to their medical care that we can suggest so that their chronic medical disease, such as their diabetes, can be in the best control possible when they enter a pregnancy, or some of their other medical conditions, or even an inherited metabolic disease can be optimally managed for their best pregnancy outcome before they even enter a pregnancy. In the middle part of the pregnancy, many women now will have an ultrasound done that will evaluate the length of their cervix and if it's found to be too shortened or open they might have cervical insufficiency and that would be a situation at times where they may be transferred into a high-risk practice to be followed more closely or if they have other risk factors they may have a cerclage placed. Um, certainly other women um, may have signs on their ultrasounds or have risk factors for having a placenta that's um, thought to be too adherent to the uterus and have concerns that they are going to have a difficult delivery that may result in blood loss or a need for further surgery and a general obstetrician may refer them to our placental accreta program that Dr. Carusi runs to help coordinate their care and um, provide them the best surgical support at the time of their delivery. And then uh, one of the other um, concerns that may develop during a pregnancy is a woman may have elevated blood pressures and they may not be significantly elevated that she needs to, del to deliver right at that point in time but may need ongoing um, observation. Certainly um, some of that may be need to be done in the hospital but often if it's not as severe that she needs delivery she may be transferred into a high risk office. We have the availability of ultrasound in our unit to um, be able to follow the fetal growth on an infant as it's developing and to check in with more um, detail looking at blood flow through the umbilical cord, being able to assess the amniotic fluid in a biophysical profile as well as right on site being able to do our non-stress um, non testing in the same unit to have another modality to check how well the, the infant's doing right at that point in time. When we have identical twins um, present, we look very carefully even very early in the first three months to make sure that the structures of each are normal. And then going into the second trimester, identical twins can um, get into problems because there can be unequal sharing in blood between the two placentas. So we then start following them very carefully at that point to make sure that the blood flow between the two placentas doesn't disrupt the amniotic fluid between the two and a condition known as twin-twin transfusion doesn't evolve. One of the cornerstones of our fetal therapy program has been a collaborative program with Children's Hospital to treat a certain type of fetal cardiac condition um, before the baby is born. And there is a group of children who are born with hypoplastic left heart in whom halfway through the pregnancy, the full manifestations of that hypoplastic left heart have not already developed. And what they have at that point is they have a very small narrowing to the outflow track on the left side. So we developed a program about 15 years ago now where we were able to go in when the baby is still inside at about five and a half months and uh, with a needle be able to open up the closed valve on the left side of the heart while watching under ultrasound. And for about half of the babies where we can get the valve open, they're able to maintain the left side of their heart. We are gaining increasing knowledge that the um, occurrence of a high-risk pregnancy 
often signals um, complications or concerns that are going to be with a woman um, through the rest of her her life. And certainly we recognized for some time that gestational diabetes is one of these concerns that when women come back into care postpartum that they need to have this followed up with, with additional testing because they're going to be at increased risk for diabetes later in their life. Um, I think we're recognizing also now that preeclampsia and even preterm delivery um, place a woman at increased risk for cardiovascular disease later in life. And so certainly um, we also now have a whole program directed towards trying to identify these women and get them back into primary care and um, back into programs where their cardiovascular risks are, are being addressed.